Hello everyone, this is Nicole from Pipefy's implementation team and in this video I'm going to explain a little bit about the automated alerts that Pipefy has. These automated alerts help you keep track of your processes, standard level agreements, uh, controlling how much time a car can stay in one phase or go through the entire process. Uh, there are three different uh, types of alert that your Pipes members can receive regarding their cards. The first one is an overdue alert, um, a notification sent via email when the due date of the card is exceeded. Uh, so the date shown on your PIPES card also gets highlighted yellow uh, when the due date is closed and red once it's passed. Um, the other one is the late alert. Uh, it's an alert shown directly on the card when it's uh, exceeded the maximum lead time for a specific phase. Uh, and you know a card has become late because it will receive a yellow stripe with late written on it on the upper right side of your cards. Uh, this late alert is directly related to a specific phase uh, and each phase can have a different lead time before receiving the late alert. The third type of alert that Pipefy offers is the expired alert, uh, also shown directly on the card as a red stripe on the upper right corner. When the card exceeds the maximum lead time, now for the entire pipe, okay? So, um, contrary to the late alert, the expired alert is related directly to your pipe settings because it concerns the amount of time a card can spend in your entire pipe. Now I'm going to show you directly on the pipe uh, how these types of alerts work and will appear on your cards. So, this is a sales pipeline. Um, a template just to show you uh, how these alerts will appear. As you can see, we have the late alert and expired alert shown as these uh, stripes in the upper right corner of the card. And in here we have the due date that triggers the overdue alert that I mentioned before. This due date gets highlighted yellow when the due date is closed and red once it's passed. It's really important to mention that you'll be able to visualize how many cards are late or expired on a face by the yellow and red rectangles um, that appear right next to this face name here with the number of cards with the alert on each face. Now regarding uh, editing these alerts, you can access the late alert by clicking on the edit this face button and you're gonna be directed to this page here and if you scroll, scroll down, you see the late alert option where you can define uh, the maximum time for a card to stay in this space. Okay, we have the time and number here and the units that you can choose, uh, minutes, hours, uh, or days. Now, if you go back to the pipe here and you access in this engine here the pipe settings, you will be able to see the define the maximum time for a card to be finished in the in the whole pipe, which is the expired alert. And the same way you can select time in the units. And what is really interesting here is that you can count weekdays only by selecting um, this field here. So all your SLAs for both pipe and phases um, will only count count weekdays from Monday to Friday. So guys, I believe this is it. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us through uh, our in-app chat. Thanks.